Welcome to this video. In the previous video, we learned to find the mode of grouped data. Today, we will see an interesting example based on the method of finding the mode. The following frequency distribution is the reported life expectancy of 400 television sets. So, can you find the modal value of the life expectancy of the television sets? Let's try to solve it. We know that in order to find the mode, first of all, we must select the highest frequency. So, from the given frequency table, you can tell that 76 is the highest frequency here. So, the modal class will be 600 to 700 where 600 is the lower limit of the modal class that is L. Can you tell what will be the size of this class interval? Perfect! Here we can see that all the class intervals are of equal measurement. So, the size of the class interval that is the value of H will be 100. From the modal formula, we can say that we will need the values of L, H, F0, F1 and F2 to find the mode. Hence, the values of the lower limit of the modal class, the size of the class, the frequency of the modal class, the frequency of the class immediately before the modal class and the frequency of the class immediately after it, on being substituted in the modal formula and on being solved, give the value of the mode as 669.23. Therefore, we can say that the life expectancy of the television sets is 669 hours and 13.8 minutes. In this video today, we saw an interesting example based on the method of finding the mode of grouped data. In the next video, we will see the common mistakes made while solving these types of questions based on mode of grouped data.